this growth engine daily, I'd like to get you thinking about um, your strap line, your logo strap line, or your brand strap line. Um, you know, we're all proud about the brands that we own, uh, the brands that we represent and promote, uh, but how often do we, uh, you know, think about whether our strap line is connecting uh, with our ideal customer? So this is a business sort of uh, consideration more than just marketing. Naturally, it goes into marketing, um, but I want you to think about it. Here's a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. So, you know, if you talk about Nike, just do it. Right? Whether that's sport or whatever. McDonald's, they have both an audible and a visible brand, which is, I'm loving it. And it's reference to their product. You know, if you're an athlete, you want to go out there, just do it. Whether you're running, swimming, like field sports, solo sports, you know, competition. It doesn't really matter. You know, McDonald's, I'm loving it. Whether, whether you're loving McDonald's food or not, whether it's bad for you, whether it, all that is irrelevant. But they're trying to connect their audience with the product. Uh, so if you want to eat, the convenience of McDonald's is there. If you want to go and do sports, then the convenience of buying, you know, um, Nike products, uh, such as, I'm just going to go out and do it. I'm going to go and join the gym. You know, I'm going to go back swimming. I'm going to go horse riding. Um, you know, I'm going to go to a, I don't know, uh, some type of boot camp, just do it. You know, and it's a great, great way of thinking about it. And for years, um, our stop line was Objectives Achieved. And we changed that in 2018. Um, and that was more around me doing growth models and board turnarounds. And if you think about it, people used to come to me, Mike, I want to grow my business. Mike, I want to do a business turnaround. We're in the mire and I've got to turn it around. Um, and what was the end goal? It wasn't the turnaround. It wasn't the growth. It was the fact that the people would at least cross the finishing line of the goal that they'd set. You know, if you look at the article inside the community, Continuous Loop to Success, there is never a finishing line. It's just like a track that goes round and round and round. But ultimately, what I'm trying to get to here is, if you set a goal to turn around and not go bust, you set a goal to grow to you know, 20% in the next 12 months or 18 months, and then that's what it was, and it was objectives achieved. When it, when it helped you achieve your objectives. Um, as our business sort of diversified more, um, you know, we've got the agency, we've got the venture side, we've got the executive side. Objectives achieved became too narrow for us. So we go, you know, now we go with the growth engine. Um, you know, if you want to grow, um, whether that's in the executive boardroom, you want to raise capital, uh, you know, you need to take out the existing motor that's driving your vehicle. That's not the people, you know, the CEO or anything like that, or the entrepreneur. Uh, but you need to take out the strategy that you're doing. You need to take out, um, you know, the power unit in, um, in your business if you're serious about growth. And, you know, we, we, we now, the success of growth engine, uh, we've created a whole range of products around that. Growth Engine Executive, Growth Engine Agency, Growth Engine Ventures. So it doesn't matter what you want to do, there's a specific growth engine that's going to help you achieve those same objectives. So we've actually gone from the end result into the power unit that's going to drive you. Because if you want to raise capital, you're going to need a different growth engine than if you just want to do marketing services. Um, so I want you to give some thought to um, strap lines, you know, whatever your brand is. Um, and then what's the strap underneath? Um, you know, there's a great one, and I'm not sure if they still use this, but Toyota, they used to put Toyota, today, tomorrow, Toyota. So it doesn't matter where you are in your life, you're here today, in the future, you always got Toyota on hand, reliable, you know, things like that. And so the car companies are a great way. If you need inspiration, head over and look at some car adverts, look on the website, you know, I think Honda have power of dreams, um, you know, uh, and things like that. Um, say it in motion, that drives emotion, all these sort of emotive sort of statements. Um, and, and the car companies do it really, really, really well to, to get you emotive to buy their car. So have a think about it. I'd love your comments below. Let me know if you do have a strap line in your logo. What is that strap line? Um, and uh, how did you come up with it? And what I want you to think about is one, two things. Is it the end result that you deliver, or is it product or solution based that you do, like the family law firm that cares? That might be a little bit cheesy, I just shoot it from the hip there. Um, 
you know, but that's something that you might do. So I'd like you to get a think about it. Now, if you cannot specify whether it's products and audience related or the end result that you deliver, then it's probably fluff. It's probably fluff. Like I said to you about us earlier, you know, the objectives achieved. We used to be help people turn around or you know get to a certain level of growth uh, using executive and, and, and management consultant services. Um, so that was relative. That was the end result. Uh, you know, uh, just do it. End result. Uh, I'm loving it. More around product. You know, it's not really an end result. It's an association. You know, growth engine is product. You know, growth engine exec. We're going to put an engine there. So today, tomorrow, Toyota. It's situational. So if you can't put it into a camp, then you've probably not got it detailed and dialed down enough. So go back to the drawing board, look at what your challenges and pain points are uh, for your audience, um, look at what they're trying to achieve, or look at what your product does and how it develops and delivers a result. Um, and it's relative to solving that immediate problem. And um, you know, it's either solving it right up front or it's, you know, it's achieving it at the back end, I suppose, is what I'm getting to. So maybe go and have a look at that. Leave me a comment below where you're at. Drop your, um, your, your, your logos and your strap lines in. You can use the link below and upload an image uh, or take a screenshot and upload it or just type it in there, whatever you want to do. I'd love to have a look at it and I'm more than happy to critique it for you, whether you've got it in the right colors, the right strap line, um, and then we can open a debate about that. So thanks for continuing your growth engine journey. As always, go do the hustle, go make it happen, and we're going to catch up with you on a growth engine daily real soon.